No, I know what you're thinking. You're probably coming into this video thinking that this video has already been done by all the big YouTubers and you watching this has probably already watched those videos. But I have to talk about this. It's been bugging me for the longest time and we all know that corporate logos have been well oversimplified and they are terrible. And we all know that they're terrible. But there is some companies that are a little bit smarter than others that have made a pretty decent logo. And yeah, we're gonna talk uh, about this today. If you guys are cool with that, if you're down with that, but yeah, I'm gonna set the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, set this video up into a couple of parts. I'm gonna chop it up, and we're gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna try to be as uh, conclusive as I can. The first one we have is Google. Now, Google is probably the culprit of all this. We go from this to this, and this is the actually uh, back in 2015 when I was in middle school when they had the hands in chalk write the Google logo and then the little finger came up and uh, made the E go sideways. What was that all about Google? Come on, you didn't have to do that. But then again, I have to say this Google logo is not that bad. For one, it stayed the same color as what Google's logos are. Uh, it, it's always been blue, yellow, red, green with the L. And it's just a little bit bolder. And the G can be the color of what Google's colors are. And I think it's cool. I think uh, it's a pretty decent logo for what uh, Google did. We're going to look at Firefox. And we are going to look at the, old, the oldest logo. First of all, back in 2002 and 2004, what is that? that? That's not a fire. That's not a fox. You should have been called Birdfire. What is that first logo? Okay, first of all, the first logo, terrible. All right, so we all knew what, what, what was coming, okay? And then in 2019, they made this. Ew! What happened to the fox's hand? In 2009, 2013 is the one I know the most. Also the 2004, 2005 one. These are actually decent logos. We all know this one. We all know what Firefox was. It looks like a fox with the, the tail's fire hold, hugging the globe. But in 2019, we got this. What happened to the fox's hand or arm or paw? What happened to it? What happened to the, the globe? What is that? That's not even a, a globe anymore. It's a, a, a ball that's on that the fox is wrapped around, the slug fox is wrapped around. But not only did we get this one, we got this one. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Where's the globe? Where's the fox? How can you call yourself Firefox if there ain't no fox? The next one that we're going to go through is Internet Explorer. Um, probably worse than Firefox, depending on if you like Internet Explorer, but it's not even called that anymore. It's called Microsoft Edge. How'd you go from Internet Explorer to Microsoft Edge? Who's edgy? Why are you edgy? You disgust me. So the original uh, Internet Explorer logo was great. It reminds me of my childhood. It really does. And the 2012 one does remind me of the childhood too, back in the 360 days. How, Microsoft, how do you go from I got your full bus, sweetie. to a parasite? That looks like a parasite that you find in Chipotle's food or something like that. What is that? What in the bloody fuck is that? You can't tell me, you can't tell me that is an E because it's not. It's not an E. That that is literally a a paras a blood sucking parasite. All right, moving on from uh, internet browsers. I don't even know what the Chrome logo is. But besides the point, we got font Fanta. Um, but yeah, we have we had a we had a logo like this, okay, and like this and like this one right here, from 2008, and then they changed it in 2016, which the 2016 one doesn't look bad. It looks all right. And then the 2017 one is is gets getting worse. And then we have this one. You're telling me you're gonna take the orange away from what your your drink is. I know they have different flavors, but the orange one is the only one known. So you're gonna tell me that you're gonna take the orange away from the logo, even though the drink is orange, it doesn't matter. You're gonna tell me that you're gonna, you're gonna, what, then what flavor is it? Ass? You can't tell me that you're gonna, you're, you're making ass flavor drinks now. Come on, like, we need the orange back. All right, and also that logo is, is shit. It's, it, it probably tastes just like Fanta does. That, looking at that, tastes like what Fanta tastes like. You know what I mean? You, have you ever looked at something and, and you're like, wow, that would, that would look like it would taste bad. That's exactly what that logo looks like. What is that? <laughs> Again, who... It was, it was fine before. All right, the next one is probably gonna be the worst one I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we got Pringles. Uh, the one in 2009, 2020. 
looks the greatest. It looks perfect. It was the one that we know and love, the, chef, the chef's kiss. Um, you know, you you know that when you looked at that, that's that's the stacks, that's the stacks chips you're gonna get. And then in 2020, they did my man dirty. They made him bald, bro. They made him. They made him bald. They took his hair away. They literally took. They shaved him bald and threw him <laughs> and threw him into a room where never to be found again. He's stuck in that Pringle can all the way down at the bottom. What the hell happened? Why'd they take his hair away? And they also, they kept the, the logo, but in 2021, they, literally one year afterwards, they made his bow tie the Pringle thing, and it's just a basic white words, a basic font. It, terrible. All right, F in the chat for Pringles, guys. All right, um, we can do a change.org thing to bring my man's hairs back. But just because Pringles is old doesn't mean you have to sit here and make this man bald. <laughs> bring his hair back all right so the patreon logo is is something i I, re I don't really know too much about patreon first of all um patreon i i remember this the 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 p logo right uh where it was the orange p uh orange p which is weird um and then they got rid of that for some reason and then they and they did they did this that's not even a p anymore like that's just a stick in a ball what a kid would play back then in like 1985 or something like that because there was nothing else to play or or maybe 70 or the 60s because i i, I did the 80s which video games were kind of coming up coming up in the 80s when it came to arcade games but like that's a stick in a ball literally add another ball and put the stick to the side you're gonna have like a skinny penis or some shit like that i don't even know what i'm talking about i just what is that spring you could have made it a lot different you could have made it the orange p a lot more better and more simple i guess that's terrible come on patreon come on this one bugs me near and dear to my heart it bugs me to my core my core and it's the adobe logos um the so the adobe logo i really don't care about it looks like so it went from this to this and the new one's okay they basically just made the a into it all into the the word and then they made the word all red and, and more bold which is okay but what why'd they go from this to this for their icons all right you messed up I always open up the incorrect icon uh, the, the software now because you got and you guys charge almost sixty dollars a month. You could it's you guys have the money to at least change the colors back. You can change the colors back. Look, look, look. This right here, you can go from that to that. All right, somebody made that. You can make audition the teal again or the turquoise, whatever you want to call it. You can make premiere the purple again. You can make flash that darker uh, or Adobe Animate you, the darker red again. You can you can keep the colors, but why does why does audition premiere and all the other ones have to look the same? Except for Illustrator and Photoshop, they're 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 colors. They're Illustrator's the orange still, and Photoshop's the blue. What what happened, Adobe? What happened? Who who'd you hire? Who'd you hire? That's terrible. It's fine. I mean, I can see Audition, you know, AU, Premiere, uh, PR. It's still just bring the colors back. It it would make it easier. You know what I mean? Like I can't. It's hard. Sometimes when you're working fast, it's hard to see. Come on, we all know this. <laughs> Why'd you do this? Why'd you do this to us? <laughs> Next segment of this video is, are they all bad? And the thing about it is, is that they're not all bad. Ironically enough, it's usually the companies that go back to an older logo, such as Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut went back to their 1977 logo and it looks better than the one that they had before. Like, what is that? I also like the 2010 logo as well. Um, it brings me back to childhood brings me back to times when Pizza Hut wasn't cheap. I see you. I see you. You changed a lot of things, Pizza Hut. I think everybody else out pizzas the Hut now because of what you've done. <laughs> but yeah, the, the new Pizza Hut logo is actually pretty good. It's pr it's decent. You know what I mean? It it went back to the, the 1974 logos. I said 77, but 74 to 99 still. Uh, and it's perfect. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Uh, Burger King went back to an older logo too. They went back to the 1994 logo to 1999, uh, but a little bit different. They kind of tweaked it a bit and it, it works for Burger King. But the only thing that doesn't work for Burger King is their food. Now listen, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know why you spend a lot of money on making a, a logo for yourself when it's not the logo you need to change. It's not the logo you need to change. You know what you need to change, Burger King. And the last one that I think is actually pretty... Uh, interesting which by the way if you if you don't know uh pepsi 
they keep this logo on, on their bo uh, bottles all the time. Look, 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 I have a Pepsi right here. Look, do you see this right here? That's a nice logo. But they also, if you didn't know, they they put their they put their little old 1987, yeah, the 1987 to 1991. They have the their little one in the in the corner there. It's popping. It's got stuff in it. But yeah, I, li I like the new P uh, Pepsi logo. It reminds me of the 2003 to 2006 one, and it reminds me of the 2006 to 2008. Uh, so it's a nice logo. I like the I like the new Pepsi logo, especially with the from the one that they had that would that kind of looked like a fat dude. Uh, the it kind of like looked like a fat dude with the shirt going up. It was weird. Um, this is way better than that one. It reminds me of an older logo. We're going back, and. I think it reminds me of the older logo, but it's different. And I think the Pepsi logo is pretty good. Pepsi's onto something. I can't say much for Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola is literally the same logo for generations. I think everyone should learn something from Coca-Cola. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And the conclusion to all these logos is that a lot of them just went to the same design like look at this you got facebook looking like that you got google looking like that but google looks google's like the only one that i know that would be like oh okay not too bad microsoft has fucked up okay the old microsoft logo brings me back to the 360 days of black ops 2 okay but they changed it to that and also the old spotify logo if i if i must say like what the fuck is going on with that o that o needs to shut the fuck up okay I like this new Spotify. It, it's it's. <laughs> I like the Spotify logo now. The green, all right. The green thing, not not the text, but that O needs to shut up. Okay, like what is happening with that O? Like it's like the only hyperactive. That it's like my friends, and then it's me. That's I'm the O. I'm like the only one that has ADHD and and and, and jumping around, screaming around. Which brings me to the ending of this whole episode is the buildings. It's not just the logos. It's the architecture of all these buildings. When they build a new McDonald's, they look like this. That's right. They look like somebody took a industrial building that usually ha makes things like metal or fiberglass and make it into a McDonald's. They're like, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Yeah, just, yeah. We want, we want our food place to look like there's a big bunch of, like, us asbestos going around in the sky a big bunch of furnaces or metal it looks like that's literally what this looks like it looks like one of these <laughs> that looks like a McDonald's. what happened to the buildings that look like this all right what happened to the mcdonald's that looks like this or that or this or that whatever happened to those buildings okay mcdonald's just go back to the freaking the the pink roof one okay you go back to the pink roof we won't we won't be the well we we might still be depressed but uh, hey at least we can go into a mcdonald's and be like yo feels like 2008 again like we can freaking come all right but anyways these buildings are terrible um most of the, especially mcdonald's mcdonald's like what happened to walmart used to look like this and now it looks like this now i have to say i, I kind of like the new walmart style like the one back then in 2008 or something the early 2000 walmart it's okay but i kind of like the new style of walmart i mean this one brings me back to my childhood but I think I think Walmart looks okay. I used, I it's weird, you know, it's weird. But like all these like places are going are getting so bland, so modern, to the point where like, what is happening? Why are we in the modern, bland, depressed era? That's that's where we are. Did all these architectures die? <laughs> like, why does everything have to be so sleek and and modern and futuristic and and looking like a fucking industrial manufacturing building come on uh that's the end of the video um the conclusion is that what happened to these companies why did they decide that these logos are are terrible now and they made and they shout out a piece of shit more than anything why did these that i don't know and i don't really care all i know is that most of these things suck and that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, leave a leave. Remember F F in the comments for our Pringles guy. He needs he, he needs his hair back. I don't know what else to say. These logos suck.